because since I came back, it's been too long ago that I was on a Sunday morning, I was doing something different, just a little different. Than all right, right, all right, right. All right. Too all much right. Something like I might basically stop at every Sunday morning diligently. It's called the after hour. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I was doing. When I think about it, that's exactly what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> But God is so good. I mean, He still let me be comfortable because I'm just a little different now. Just a little different. And I know that God has reached back. And then He reached down. And, 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 and He had me. Come on, Larry, that's enough. Let's go. That's enough. Let's go there. So I'm so thankful. Now I'm making it. Kind of joyful, but I'm, but I'm really, I'm, I'm truly thankful for what God has done. <laughs> He's brought me a long way. All right, all right. In a million years, I could, nobody could have told me that I would be standing in, in a pulpit preaching God's word. Right. Nobody yeah. could have told me that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would have into scorn. But here I am. Amen. Jesus, here I am. Amen. And there is a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. But first, let us remind ourselves why we're here. Thank you to every Sunday. To Christ Center Church for the holistic care of the people of the world in a way that provides a people-inclusive environment conducive to praise, worship, and spiritual growth. This church will promote the uncompromised Word of God in the healing of the hungry, healing and deliverance of the sick and oppressed, clothing the naked, welcoming the stranger, visiting the prison bound, educating the unlearned, and loving the unloved. We will also support other ministries and organizations sharing our mission so that communities of believers are formed and transformed by the renewing of hearts and minds to the good and acceptable will of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray. Dear Lord and our God, we come this morning first and foremost saying thank you, Lord, for another blessed and beautiful day, Father God. We ask now, Lord, that you touch hearts, Lord, and minds, and just, Father, help us to receive your word, Father, and to live by it and to share it each and every day. Father God, help me now as I attempt to break the bread of life with these, your people. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and all of the saints of God said, Amen. 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 Amen.
now, the question was asked, are you ready? Are you ready? How about it, beloved? Are you ready? Some of you may be saying to yourself, ready? Really? Good question. Mm -hmm. And I say to you, good question, a good question. But to answer such a good question, I say to you, uh, ready for the return of our Lord and Savior. All right. All right. His name is Jesus Christ. Yeah. I know that a lot of you will be uh, in a hurry to say, yes, preacher, I'm ready for the return of the Lord Jesus. But, I, but I'm saying to you, before you answer that question, think about it just for a moment. I know that, that some of you will say, you are ready because of situations and circumstances in life, the way the world is going now. So yeah, we're, we're ready. Mm -hmm. But I still want you to think about it first. Right. And believe me, I understand and I see all of the things of an evil nature that are manifesting itself each and every day. Mm -hmm. Say yes. yes. There seem to be more of our leaders going to prison these days than, than the average working class man. Uh, who's working hard every day, trying his best to do good, but the leaders of our cities and nations, they're, they're, they're messing up real good. But not only that, as I look at the murders and the sexual misconduct and all of the hatred, jealousy, and envy that is going on today, I too, I too want Jesus to hurry and return. I catch myself thinking that if Jesus don't hurry up and return, there won't be a world for him to come back All to. Right. But the question is, am I ready? And are you ready? Yeah. I know that some of us are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A lot of us are physically tired, a lot of us are mentally tired, but a, a lot of us are spiritually tired. Amen. Beat down to the ground by the going ons in this wicked, wicked world. So the question of the day is, are you ready? Ready for the return of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior? Are we like the apostles of Jesus? Are we staring up at the sky in anticipation, <coughs> looking for Jesus' return? Or are we trying to prepare our hearts and minds spiritually so that we would be ready, spiritually ready, for the return of Jesus Christ? <laughs> Beloved, as I look around and see all the things that are going on in, the, in this world today, I realize that we have much work to do to ready ourselves for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus said in his word to his disciples, he said, one more commandment do I leave with you, that you love one another as I have loved you. These words alone speaks by you. Are you ready, beloved, are you ready uh, 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 to love your neighbor as you love yourself today? Our own love life gives us something to think about. Mm -hmm. If we can't love each other as Jesus has commanded, then how can we say that we are ready for the return right. of our Lord and Savior? Right. Think about it just for a second. Mm -hmm. Search your heart of hearts and then ask yourself, am I ready? Am I, am I really ready? Are you ready today, beloved? Mm -hmm. let, let, let's take a look at what the Lord Jesus says that we need to do to ready ourselves. All right. So this is what you must write to the angel of the church in Laodicea. I am the one called Amen. I am the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation. Listen to what I say. I know everything you have done, and you are not cold or hot. I wish you were either one or the other. But since you are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. You claim to be rich and successful and to have everything you need, but you don't know how bad off you really are. You are pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Buy your gold from me. It has been refined in a fire, and it will make you rich. Buy white clothes from me. Wear them, and you can cover up your shameful nakedness. Buy medicine for your eyes so that you will be able to 
sin. I correct and punish everyone I love. Oh, let me say that again. I correct and punish everyone I love. So make up your minds to turn away from your sins. Listen, I am standing and knocking at your door. If you hear my voice, and open the door, I will come in, and we will eat together. Right. Ain't that something? Let me just pause right there just for a second. Just can you picture yourself sitting down eating with the creator of heaven and earth? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh. Everyone who wins the victory will sit with me on my throne. Oh. Jesus talking to us, y'all. Just as I won the victory and ate and sat and ate with my father on his throne. If you have ears, Listen to what the Spirit says to the church. There's Revelation 3, 14 through 22. Are you ready to love it? Or do you need medicine for your eyes so that you can see? You may say, see what do you mean? And my answer would be just this. So that you can see the signs of the times. So that you can see within your heart the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when you're truly ready, you can see. You can see the signs of the times. Jesus says that he correct and punish everyone that he loves. Have you felt the love of Jesus in your spirit today? Have you felt the Lord correcting you and guiding you in everything that you think or do? Have you heard the knock of the Lord Jesus at your spiritual door, which is your heart? That spiritual door. Hear when God is talking to you. Jesus says, if, 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 if we hear him knocking, let him in. He will come in and eat with us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Bless his name. How about the Lord? Are you ready? Are you ready to sit at the dinner table with the Savior of the world, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Are you ready to surrender mind, body, and soul to the only one who can keep us? from Father. Are you ready to humble yourselves and come to the Lord as little children uh, uh, who needs the guidance and love that only Jesus Christ can give? Are you ready to praise God and give thanks to God even when things aren't going the way that you want them to go? Are you ready to worship God both in spirit and in truth? Are you ready to spread the good news of the gospel off to all those who don't even know the Lord for themselves? Are you ready today, beloved? Are you really ready? Some of you may look at me and say, preacher, how can, how can you ask us the question, uh, are we ready for the return of the Lord Jesus? Mm -hmm. Well, I ask that question because our hearts and our mind must be for the coming of the Lord. And I want to know, are we ready? Right now, there's a spiritual war going on. Can, can, can we hold down the fort until Jesus gets here? Can we endure the attacks of the evil one? Can we hold on to the victory that the Lord Jesus has already secured for us from the very beginning? These, beloved, are perilous times. And there are even more evil days ahead of us. Yes. Way better than it is now. Mm -hmm. Things are going to get worse before they get better. Yeah. But Jesus wants us to hold on. He wants us to hold on uh, even when the world is throwing heavy burdens on our back. Yes. Load us down. Load us down. Jesus wants us to hold on. Jesus wants us to hold on even when we can't cease and end to the calamity and the suffering that's going on these right. evil days. Yeah. Jesus wants us to hold on even when the enemy has done all but kill us. Yeah. Wow. Hold on. Are you ready? Have you prepared your hearts and minds for the coming of the Lord Jesus? Listen to what Jesus says. He said, I know everything you have done. And I place before you an open door that no one can close. You were not very strong, but you obeyed my message and did, did not deny that you are my followers. 
Now you will see what I will do with those people who belong to Satan's group. They claim to be God's people, but they are liars. I will make them come and kneel down at your feet. Then they will know that I am the Lord. They will know that I am the Lord. You obeyed my message and endured, so I will protect you from the time of testing that everyone in all the world must go through. So that means that all the world has got to go through something. Oh, I am coming soon, so hold firmly to what you have, and no one will take away the crown that you will be given as your reward. Revelation 3, 8 through 11. These are shouting words for me, right. but the question still remains, are you ready? That, that's still there, are you ready? Jesus said, I am coming soon. He, uh, uh, he even uh, tells us to, to hold on firmly to what we have. Do you have the love of, of God in your hearts today? And if you do, Jesus said, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Do you, do you love your neighbor as you love yourself? And if you do, Jesus says, hold on firmly to that. Mm -hmm. Do you have a heart of service for the Lord Jesus? Uh, and if you have, Jesus says, hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Do you have faith and trust in the only living God? If you do, <coughs> hold on to that. Right. Jesus says, hold on firmly to it. Yes. Beloved, we must hold on to all the things that keeps us in a good relationship with the Lord, our God. Amen. Because life is short and time is much, much shorter Amen. than we think it is. These are bitter and wicked, wicked days that we are quickly approaching. So we must pray without ceasing. We must keep on, keep our hearts and minds stayed on God and his saving power. Amen. Jesus said, no man knows the day or hour of his return. But I suggest that we be ready. I, I don't mean uh, be ready by packing your suitcases yeah. and getting all dressed up. All right. I mean, yet we must be ready in our hearts spiritually. Amen. And maybe there are some of you who will ask the question, how do we get ready spiritually, preacher? And I can't wait to tell you about this. Yeah. <laughs> Beloved, in order to get ready spiritually, we must put the whole armor right. of God on. It tells us how to make ourselves ready for the coming of our Savior. Finally, let the mighty strength of the Lord make you strong. Put on all the armor that God gives so you can defend yourself against the devil's tricks. We are not fighting against humans. We are fighting against forces and authorities and, and against rulers of darkness and powers of spiritual of the spiritual world. So put on all the armor that God gives. Then when the evil day comes, you will be able to defend yourself. And when the battle is over, you will still be standing firm. He says, be ready. Let the truth be like a belt around your waist, and let God's justice protect you like arm. Your desire to tell the good news about peace should be like shoes on your feet. Let your faith be like a shield, and you will be able to stop all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Let God's saving power be like a helmet, and, and, and for a sword, use God's message that comes from the Spirit down inside. Never stop praying, especially for others. Let me say that again. Never stop praying, especially for others. Always pray by the power of the Spirit. Stay alert and keep praying for God's people. As he pleads in 6, 10 through 18. Beloved, this scripture is, is, is telling us to put down the weapons of the world because uh, they don't have the power to make us ready for the return of Jesus Christ. They don't have that power. Yeah. It, is only the, uh, it is only through the word of God that we can be made ready. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready to put down the, the, the pride that has made our heart 
as hard as rocks. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to exchange uh, 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 the heart of rocks to a heart filled with the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to take up your cross and walk with Jesus each and every day of your lives? Are you ready to pray and meditate on the Word of God? which cleanses us. Are you ready to walk the walk of faith and to share the good news of God's word to the world, the whole world? Are you ready to forsake all others and follow Jesus? Jesus says this. Another thing in Matthew 8, 21 through 22. Uh, another man who was a disciple said, Sir, first let me go back and bury my father. Follow me, Jesus answered and let the dead bury their own dead. Are you ready to let the dead bury their own dead and follow the Lord Jesus Christ today, beloved? I know and I truly understand how tired that this world can, can make you. I also understand how sick that this world can make you. And I also know that for all those who love the Lord, I know that you are ready for the return of Jesus. But I wanted you to know what God wants us to do to, to ready ourselves. Uh, but for all of you that are tired and heavy laden, here's what Jesus says for you. Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Yes. Take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me because I am gentle and humble in spirit and you will find rest. For the yoke I will give you is easy, and the load I will put on you is light. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Are you ready today, brother? Yeah. Are you ready to surrender all and come to Jesus with an open heart and open arms? Have you dressed up in the full armor of God and prepared yourself for this spiritual battle? Well, after having done all these things, it is now time to say, Yes, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'm ready. Amen. Amen. Church home. 